Welcome back, I'm Rob Lang and this is my game Clomper. You live inside a mechanical ladybird called a Clomper, which you can control by laying pipes to power machines with steam. The outside world is a hellscape you explore from inside the Clomper, picking up resources and completing quests. If this is your jam, like and subscribe for more. This week has been all about performance, pipelines, forward and deferred. Let's begin with a question. Why am I not getting 60 frames per second? This is a typical scene. I'm targeting PC only and my machine is relatively up to date. At 1080p, I should be getting 60 frames per second, but I'm not. This is where I started. Let's begin with the profiler. If you've not used the profiler before, I have a video on it in the top right. We have two cameras, one for the player and one for the claw. We'll ignore the claw one for now as it's not slowing things down. Unity uses the CPU to prepare things for the graphics card and the slowest item there is the render pipeline. Inside that you can see it's something called forward transparent. HDRP has two render modes, forward and deferred. Forward is slower but has more quality. Deferred is lower quality and faster. My HDRP settings are set to deferred, so why is there forward transparent? In the Unity docs, it says that forward is forced when there is transparency. My models don't use a lot of transparency, so for a test, I turned all my materials to opaque, but that didn't help. Forward transparent was still there. I wrote a Unity forum post and was recommended the frame debugger. The frame debugger shows you step by step how the scene is rendered. The top section is the claw camera. We'll ignore that. We keep going down until we see forward transparent. The VFX graph has transparency. The VFX graph is steam. Oh bother. For fun, I decided to try and get Clomper working in the universal render pipeline. I had started with it and swapped it out in January 2020. It's moved along a lot since then. I first made a branch in Git so that I could experiment without worrying about remembering what I did. Think of a branch like a parallel universe where the graphics look a bit naff. After a few fixed textures, this is what it looks like. HDRP and URP use different lighting models, so the brightness is to be expected. Let's start with reducing the light levels. That's better, but there's no atmosphere. In HDRP, I was using volumetric lighting, which means that the fog is calculated based on light. URP doesn't have that yet, so let's add some post-processing to fill the gap. That's a bit better, but we need that steam and for it to be darker. Steam in Clomper is built using the VFX graph. The last step of VFX graph tells the renderer pipeline particles should look like. In HDRP, I was using lit quad, meaning that each particle is lit by the lights in the scene. URP doesn't have that, so I added a simple quad and played with the values a little. I could keep playing with the settings here, but I felt that I'd lost too much by going to URP. What do you think? Do you think I could get away with URP? Let me know in the comments. If I want to have the high fidelity of HDRP, I'm going to have to live with the forward path. So how can I improve the frame rate? After a fair amount of reading, I discovered that light points are very expensive. If you want to check out what lights you have, I recommend using the Light Explorer under Window, Rendering, Light Explorer. Here you can see all your lights and settings. And as you can see, I'm using a lot of point lights. So they're expensive. Let's turn them off. Well, the frame rate is certainly improved. Let's try faking bounce light by adding emission to the materials. Fascinating. The steam is still black because it needs to be lit. This wasn't right. The documentation said that forward is best with a single distant light. Let's see what that looks like. It's moody, but not the warm fuzzy feel I'm going for. So this is where I got up to this week. Faking it is the way to go. I'm going to try baking lights, removing lights, turning lights into spots, distance, and so on. Thank you 
all so much for your support on the last video. A comment here and there makes the world of difference. If you like the video, please hit like. And if you yearn for more, then please hit subscribe. Until next time, stay safe. Bye bye.